All right, Dean's next. He says, when building an HTML website today in Notepad Plus, the Google Maps API section displayed as expected on desktop, yet when I launched, uploaded the site on the server, I got an error along the lines. Um, Marco, this is going to be something you're going to have to answer because I this kind of stuff, <laughs> uh, let's see, I, I read this briefly earlier. He said something about the problem that, oh, see, I had Googled, I had to Google the problem and found the quote, if you're using Google Maps API on localhost on your domain or your domain was not prior acted to June 22nd, 2016, it will require a key going forward. To fix this problem, please see the Google Maps API documentation. Okay. I had to sign a new Google and generate a key when in the past I did not have to. Does this mean that Google is now tackling people using a method of embedding maps on websites to help rank in maps? Or does this just mean that when building websites for clients, I'm going to have to generate a key attached to my Gmail account for their site? Or use their Gmail. I'm not sure what you're talking about because, I, Dean, I'm not sure why. It sounds like you did something to overcomplicate this. I'm not accusing you of anything, but what I'm saying is, is Google the, the My Maps and Google Maps will give you the share, the embed code. So if they're giving you the embed code, they don't require you to have API access, like a key for all that. I, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Um, you must have tried to create something that. I, I'm not. I, I'm just not following you here because any map you can pull up and look at and grab the share URL, whether it's from Google Maps or from Google My Maps, either one you can get the embed code. So yeah, I'm, I'm not, not sure. I'm, I'm not sure why why he's going into the API either because even if it's an HTML website, it shouldn't you can matter. Still embed an iframe. Yeah. I mean that's old school. <laughs> that's how we started out. Yeah, so Dean, uh, there's something that you're doing that's overcomplicating this when it shouldn't be that complicated. Maybe um, if you can clarify somehow, um, we can help you. But otherwise, like I said, if you go to Google My Maps, you can click a share, you can grab the share URL, uh, or excuse me, the embed code so that you can embed the My Maps. And if you're going to Google Maps for like local listings, you can grab the share embed code. So that's all you need. I'm not sure what, what else you're doing. Sorry, I can't help you more. <clears throat> 